Start from the top down. Take out the ones up here and then the ones on ground level. I wonder if they're going to turn around on their own or if I need to throw a can. They've been there a while. Having a smoke? Yeah, that one's not turning around. Uh, I need to either throw a can or go a totally different way. Wow, they really all activated. <laughs> God damn, I can't believe that worked. I expected any one of them to turn around at the wrong moment. What? Oh god, they're coming this direction too. God, everybody heard that damn can! If they find the bodies... What do they do if they find the bodies? I think we have our answer. They go into very high alert. Try to catch him just as they come around the corner. I don't know what I just took. <laughs> shit, some. Oh, shit. Somebody shine their flashlight up here. Man, stealth is really hard. Don't know why there's a hoot noise when I load the game. Maybe I should just not be here. I don't want to be up though. Everywhere else is ground level. Hmm. How about this? Hide out in the bus? Oh, I think they found the bodies, didn't they? <gasps> oh, yeah, they don't care about the can when they find the bodies. Why would they? Another idea. Maybe I can get them to turn around. <laughs> Damn it! Turn around! I think someone down there just saw me. <gasps> yeah. Right? Did, wait, did they? They actually might not have. Ugh. There's not a lot of protection up here. Two up here and I, I hear one behind me. No, there's three here. Shh, be quiet. 
Uh oh, alright, well... Fuck! Alright, I wanna try to turn this one around again. Ah, no, there's a million of them there. Alright, I'm gonna try to go to just to the ground. This place is not a good place to approach this from. Yeah, let's go down. I guess I'll just let them find the body. things looking up here. I can go back to the ground if they don't look good. Shh, be careful. Be, be quiet, Beryl. Oh, there's a second person coming behind him. Oh man! I thought you'd be slower. They really caught up. Get them to keep coming, maybe? God, I didn't mean to turn my light on. Holy shit. I think we're fine. I just wanted to see if this did anything like heat sensor. Re. But no. Okay. One's coming around this corner. Yeah, they just spotted me. There's like three up here now. I, I have to go back to the ground. Okay, let's try it from here. I don't want the... That's the thing. That's the reason I wanted to be up there, is I don't want them to spot me from up there. Just keep on going over there. I have no idea if that hit close enough for them to hear. Damn, that spotlight. Yeah, pretty much everybody's gone up. Now it's just this person down here, and that's it. This is the last one. Ah. <sighs> that was hard. I hate these spotlights. We got a lot of looting to do. So satisfying to loot. It's 
bring some life back to this place. Yeah, illuminating the guitar and the three dead bodies. This is a gold mine. Hey, what's that do? Power. Going up to there, and then over there, and then down to the ship? Maybe I don't want to hit that. That might actually do something to the ship that could get me in trouble. Because I think that's where they keep the slaves, and they must have guards and stuff there, of course. Where they all sit around and wait for the Baron to speak. Charred note. Rasp, I'm at the airport. That corporal didn't bullshit us. My slaves just dug the hangar entrance up. And you must see it. It's chock full of pre-war shit. The old goat was right in the money. Really does look like the flyboys would just dump all the stuff they didn't need here, uh, didn't need there to avoid going through the proper procedure. They were fucking wasteful before the war, that's for sure. Anyhow, not a word to anyone. Come night, take all your slaves and cars and quietly, with lights off, so that not even a demon could notice your asses, get over here. We must get all the best stuff out before the others catch wind of this. They just start fighting over it and then the Baron would claim it all for himself anyway. So, we take what we can, while we can, hide it, and pretend we know nothing. Don't worry about that corporal. I shot him and dumped his ass into a mutant lair. This drunk would have squealed on us for sure. It's bad enough that I don't know if he told anybody else before I got to him. Burn the note. I'm guessing all this is the reason why we had some people come by while we were there, arguing arguing between one group and some other unknown group. I think they killed all of whatever the other group was before I even got there, and then they all tried to shoot me. Right, I can burn flags. Can I jump up and burn that? <clears throat> Holy flame shall burn our enemies. Fuck you. Alright, let's get a good look at that place over there. The slave ship. What 
doing on materials, by the way? I think I just got an absolute shit ton. I think so. I think I had like maybe less than a hundred of each. A little bit less than a hundred of each. That's grim. I can zip line down right in front of the body that they tied up there. see anybody on the outside. I think they're shut down for the night. Like, if there's anybody there, they're on the inside. Maybe all the guards for it are just up here. I mean, from here you can watch out for down there pretty well. Let's go. I guess. Sounds like a thug. Oh, you... Oh, do you have to get to the entrance, pretty much? By coming from up there? I think that might be it, because there's no ladder up here. So that place up there is the protection for this, because that's like the only way in, I think. Yeah, sure, no problem. to go. I can go down, up. I guess we should try to, like, keep going up and then start from the top and work our way down, maybe? That is fucking disgusting. Жарамля, понятно дело, это падаль ворочается. А с нас потом спросят, чем ли учим их плохо? Oh, that turn off power to the whole place? Would that make them freak out, though? <laughs> Why is there a bloody fucking saw? Jesus Christ. I 
I should probably throw a can, huh? Oh, wow. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I feel like they spotted me. But maybe not. How do they spot me? Okay, let's try going a different way. Let's go down here. Hmm. I was mashing that button, but... I couldn't do it right at that, ex that exact moment. I guess because I sort of got their attention with sound. I don't know if you can really do a drop attack like that then. Let's try again. No, no, you just can't do that. Okay, let's try going down. Yeah, I'll try this. I got a feeling they may be spotted me. This is so difficult, man. There's so many of them. Alright, let's try again. Like, I want to take those two people out, but I, I don't want to activate everybody with a tin can. You do that, and in such a closed environment, like, everybody comes. It doesn't work very well, and it puts them all on, like, medium alert. And those two won't move. They're just facing each other. So, maybe let's try this again, but... Take the light out? I don't know, so many- I, no. I need to take out other people, people that will look down and see what I'm doing. These people are the ones who are spotting me. <laughs> Fuck. Even just trying to jump up there and I get spotted. Because I made sound jumping going huh, huh, huh. Alright, maybe I can at least take out these people down here. I don't think anybody will see them. Nobody really has lights over here. Okay. Who saw that? Alright, let's start with this person completely in the corner. No one's gonna see you. No one's gonna miss you. You don't even exist. Okay. Oh good, there's somebody left alive. They... What happened? Did they find a body? I I'm sorry. I got spotted. I got spotted? 
Man, this whole room sucks. It's bad. Unfortunately, when I load my game, the lights come back on as well, even though the breaker is actually off. So you have to toggle it back on and then off to make them actually go off, because when you load your game, it always puts them on without actually doing anything with the breaker. Very odd. I don't know how to really deal with this, to be honest. I'm not, like, I need to get over there and take out these fuckers, because they see everything. These two are always facing each other. Again, I don't want to throw a can, because then, like, everybody's activated. Could I get, like, up there and crawl on those pipes? Doesn't seem like it. That'd be nice, actually. Then I could get to the other side. But it doesn't seem like they want you to. Yeah, they just won't look away no matter what. They're just entranced by each other's eyes. Well, I suppose now's an opportunity to go flip this thing. <laughs> I wanted to take out the light first, but I... Ah, I'm going to figure this room out. It's, it's bad. It's a bad room, but I'm going to do it. What do you think the chances are that I could take this person out right in front of them and they won't notice because they're in the dark? Wait, you gotta be kidding me. Did that actually work? So, to make them walk apart, you just have to get close enough for them to start talking. Okay, that sucks. But also, wow, that actually worked fast enough? Locked. Is that to like move those up, move them down and up from the pit, whatever the fuck that is? Okay, this might work. Oh wow, that is really cool looking. How the hell do I get up there? I guess I gotta go through the big scary door. Oh, right, these people. I don't think I can mess with them while that one's up there, overlooking. Let's go through the big creepy door. That is so cool looking. Making him fight for sport. 
Okay, who spotted what? Did someone spot a body? Oh, Jesus. Maybe I'll just leave him alive so that nobody spots the body. I don't know which body they spotted or if they somehow magically spotted me, so... Uh... Oh, hi. I think we're good right now. I don't know why I'm looting this place. I'm not looting other things. I should just explore, like, take everybody out and then loot. Using them as a sex slave, I'm sure. Ah, here's how I get up here. This is the bastard that keeps seeing everything. And we're good. I wonder what all these damn things do. I'm scared to press any of them. Alright, so there's three to take out. Those two, and then one back here. Around the fighting ring. Okay. Wow. Well, there's blood on my face. It's gone. Just a couple droplets going down. Well, I guess I can turn all the lights back on, huh? Was that? Is there a sign? Exit. Let's find out what this does exactly. Whatever it is, I'm probably not going to like it. Oh. Never mind, I like it very much. Um, you're free. Sorta. I mean, are they really free? They could easily encounter a thug outside that would just shoot them in the head. They have no equipment, uh, nowhere to go, you know?
It's not actually going to do anything because everything defaulted to on when I loaded my save, but I feel, like I feel like I should turn that back on. Okay. They're alive at least. <laughs> they just have a like a full service fucking bar and dining table while you watch the slaves punch each other to a pulp. Of Molotovs. Hmm. Yeah, what does this do? Oh. I thought that was to use the control panel. Okay, what does this do? Excellent. I guess that means I can't get down there. I was thinking I had to go to a lower level and try to help them from down there, but I don't think so. Okay, good. Good, good. And that goes right over there, which then is close to the exit, so that's like the get the hell out of here kind of thing. Whoa, what is that? What's that attachment for? The A-Shot. Oh, it's a more than two barrel A-Shot. Shopping list. How to talk with the boys from the south. They want to buy strong slaves. Five, a slave that can fight well for fighting pit, maybe two. Good house slave, one. A big angry dog for guard. A slave that can read and write and count to keep books. Who are these people from the south that want to buy slaves? I wonder if we'll meet them. I hope not. Um, I don't think we looted everything in here, did we? No, I think I got a lot of it, though. Okay. Let's zip line out of here. came in when it was dark. Beautiful. Ah, oh, right, that was the other door that I was only openable from one side. So I wonder if I turned that off over there, the one that has the power leading from there to there to there. Like, would that have turned off the power for the entire boat? Like, is that the exclusive source of power for this boat? Or ship, rather? Or maybe it's like the other way around? Maybe that... Maybe it's getting power from this ship? I don't know. Like, I would think the generators would be here, not over there. What's out front? I don't think there's any guards out here or anything. I haven't seen any. Lots of cars and stuff, though. <laughs> like, what is all this? I 
Oh! Right! When I came in here, that was the, the down place to go. So then, did I miss anything else? So I came in here. Oh, that just... That just goes back there. There's the exit. That goes there. Up is the way I went before. Down goes where I just came from. Okay. I get it now. Yeah, so this is how you get inside without having come from up there. I think this is the car that I saw driving from up there on the... Uh, up there. I think I opened this. This is probably where the slaves came out. Jesus, that looks so cool. Submit and you shall be saved, Baron. So they took like a, a door from the ship, some old rusty ship, and used that as a door for the back of this thing. <laughs> Slapped it onto a shipping container. That's cool. Is that on fire? Oh, are they like boiling water here? It's like some sort of a whole water system. It's an oil pump. Maybe that's just where they get hot water from? That mess of pipework and fortifications. Ooh, that could have went real bad. Thought I would head back to my van so that we can drive through the X that we cleared out a while ago and then go to that question mark ahead of us. the ship right here, right? Yeah. I already hear, like, something try to attack me, like, combat music. What? What's in there? What am I hearing? What is that noise? Are they, like, trapped inside or something? Or something? Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, so that other knife pinged off metal, so I think it's just gone gone? Maybe it does get destroyed? Gonna go with that assumption. See if it holds true.
Oh, damn it. Nice. Wait, how do I get up there? Can I get up there? <laughs> like, I can't really walk there. There's a door there, but you <gasps> definitely can't walk there right outside of it. I don't think you're meant to get up there. Like, I could try doing a running jump from here, maybe. Oh, actually, yeah, that's totally gonna work. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> that's a minecart. So, where to go from here? There's only one question mark left, I guess, to the question mark. Can I get down easily without dying? While also having it be fast. Uh, no. Let's do it the slow way. Oh, wait. Right, we didn't take a ladder up here. Um, hmm. Oh, I missed this whole place in here, actually. Maybe this will get me out safely. Ah, yes. Actually, me. Mm. Ooh, that was awfully close to dying. <laughs> now, how do I get out of here? Is this actually like a real hole that I can go through? It doesn't doesn't seem like it. How do I leave? Surely you're supposed to go in here, right? It looks like it, it meant for you to go this way to get out safely. Oh god, maybe not though, because like this isn't rendering correctly. Like that's all fucked up. Are you not supposed to be here? Yeah, I can't find a way out of that purgatory. So um, let's just take a med kit. This is going to hurt me, but it won't kill me now that I'm healed. Oh. Actually, didn't hurt me either. Okay. Gotta go up to the X and take a left. Yeah, down here. Something on the cliff. Thugs? Are those... Are those mannequins? I think those are mannequins. That's creepy. One real person sitting next to... Two mannequins, to be clear. Maybe they mean me no harm? I 
don't think they're just a general thug. I think they're special. Wait, that's the... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the Baron? The Baron's just here? No, I really didn't expect to see you here. Саул, хоть и кретин, иногда проявляет изобретательность, ничего не скажешь. Одним ударом переломить хребет сопротивлению, уничтожить ведьму и выявить всех предателей. Отличная мысль. Вот и сижу тут. Не помню сколько. Смотрю на свои владения со стороны... Да двойника по радио слушаю. Your double? Хорошо выступает, кстати. Даже жалко такого артиста, как подсадную утку использовать. Да. Ну ничего. У меня тут артистов хоть отбавляй. Видишь портрет? Скажешь, не похож? Не похож, да. Вот этого артиста тоже надо будет убавить. С двойника рисовал, кретин. Должен быть как две капли воды, а тут не пойму, что за рожа. И вообще, откуда тут портрет этот? Не помню. Ну и черт с ним. Давай лучше о другом поговорим. О поездах, гостях. Давно вас ждем. У нас и на Западе есть уши. Ну, как у вас здесь были. Ты уж не обижайся. Ваших шпионов пришлось сжечь показательно за оскорбление священного пламени. А нечего границы переходить. Ясно? Мне можно над этой чушью смеяться. Я ее придумал. Не помню, правда, когда. Но это не важно. Важно, даже я при лохматых держу себя в руках. А кто позволяет себе публично, публично оскорблять священное пламя? Враг. Ясно? Тоньше надо работать, тоньше. Тогда, может, и сотрудничество наладим. Не зря же вас сюда прислали, а? Я пристально слежу за вашими действиями и должен сказать, что... <смех> Ах, да. Все же вы, молодой человек, не особо тонко действуете. Ведьме этой с маяка кто сбежать помог? <смех> О, не тушуйтесь, не тушуйтесь. Все это часть плана. Если бы не вы, ее спасли бы люди Саула. Все должно быть натурально. Гюль убьет проклятого барона. Угнетенный народ восстанет. К нему присоединятся новые лидеры сопротивления. Гюль займет место тирана. Ей присягнут многие из его старых приспешников. И тут она, несомненно, наломает дров. Рабов. В придачу к свободе ждут голод и жажда. Гюль ведь не знает, каких усилий стоит обеспечивать всех моих подданных хотя бы самым необходимым. И вот когда они, подыхая от голода, начнут надрывать свои пересохшие глотки, умоляя священное пламя спасти их, воскресну я... <laughs> и спасу их. That is seriously fucked up.
Этого хочет священное пламя, молодой человек. Этого хочет вселенная. Священное пламя. Когда же я это придумал? Отличная ведь мысль. Ну, не важно, не важно. So far, I haven't made any. They haven't made any argument for why I shouldn't just kill them right now. Вы молодой человек, как всегда меня радуете. Хочу поблагодарить за блокпост в порту. К сожалению, когда организация достигает определенных масштабов, в ней начинает копиться балласт. Некомпетентные, бездарные кретины, не способные целой бандой справиться с одним человеком. В свете этого ваши действия, молодой человек, не только не нанесли моей организации вреда, но и напротив, избавили ее от балласта, от человеческого мусора. Okay, they're being absolutely like ridiculous. I... They're like they're like bragging that every little thing that I've done is all within their plan. Like there's some genius that's calculated out every little thing. Saving Gule, haha. You helped me. Killing my people, you helped me. Like, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I did help you. I think they're just trying to puff themselves up, look bigger than they are, look smarter than they are. Искренне благодарю. I don't know where to go from here. Вы, я смотрю, в последнее время не скучали. Ха. Освободить рабов — это прекрасная идея. Теперь, насладившись свободой в пустыне, без снаряжения, без защиты от мутантов, выжившие поймут, I feel like the game's taunting me to kill them. Деле. I mean, look at them standing right here, ready to take a bullet in the head, fall over а into the water. по-настоящему нужно человеку, в сущности, немногое. Немного пищи и воды, защита от пустыни, окружающей нас реальности, и, конечно же, цель. Исполнение воли священного пламени. Да. I just want to know if they'll keep talking and talking and talking. Ну, молодой человек, спасибо за развлечение. Надеюсь, мы с вами еще не раз встретимся. А меня ждут неотложные дела. That's the end of it. Yeah, I feel like it is taunting me to shoot them. I'm going to wait. This feels too easy, too perfect. I can kill them later, right? Ooh. What the hell? Is that just a bucket full of paintings? Okay. So I just got consumables carrier. These add-on uh, these add-on tactical backpack compartments provide space for carrying an extended supply of consumables such as medkits and filters. I don't think I need to hold more medkits. The issue is just having enough supplies to make more medkits. So, yeah, I think I'll just stick with the ammo pouches, I guess. That's all good. Uh, what did I get here? A fourth type of magazine? High capacity. Oh, it's even larger than the extended. Holy shit. But man, it has a huge negative effect on stability. Almost halves it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's fine if you're going into, like, really, really close quarters battle with this thing, but since I'm not, not worth it at all. Guess I should clean this thing. Um, let's actually switch away from the suppressor. Long barrel and compensator. Oh, that thing looks gorgeous. A little lower stability, more damage and accuracy. Yeah, so that'd be better for a sniper. Kind of 
use of it, which is often what I use it for. Let's get rid of the suppressor off this thing, too. Go for the long barrel. More damage, more rate of fire. Um, yeah, hurt stability, but I think that's okay. Let's clean him. How are we doing on ammo, by the way? Oh, we're fine. And I got four medkits. Do I need more knives? I do need one more knife. <laughs> They're just right there. Just could shoot them right there. Is that even the Baron, though? With all the talk of a double and how the ping doesn't even look like them. I don't know, maybe they're the fucking double. Who I don't know. I want to get more information before I take any concrete actions, any permanent actions. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, well, we're done with all the question marks, so I'm going to head all the way to the northwest. I think it's, was it Demir, Dimitri? I forgot their name. Need to go help them. Because we need to get water from the well, and that's up there. <laughs>